Hi there. Today we will be talking about relocation. This is a life review. Hey everybody, thank you for visiting Ad Shot. If this is your first time or you are returning, we appreciate you viewing. Today we will be reviewing your life and your attempts for relocation. All video and music made from scratch. All right, so I thought I'd change up the format a little bit on this video. I thought we could, while reviewing the Skydio 2 drone and its capabilities, following me up this amazing river, that I might be able to also give you some tips, maybe a few things to consider if you were thinking about getting out to the country, maybe relocating, moving your life, looking for a change. I know a lot of people are fleeing the states they're in or they're fleeing the cities they're in. Well, things are tough. Things are tough for everybody. And uh, they're looking for a little relief. And I totally understand. So if I can help in any way, let's do it. So here we go. We're gonna try and get over to the river right now. We got the Skydio 2 in pursuit. And almost Instantly, the Skydio 2 finds a little obstacle and can't seem to get around or past these trees. Come on, buddy. But we'll get her back. Usually a quick uh, adjustment to your location, to your position, will usually send the Skydio back into a different direction and it will then, you know, find the better way through. All right, well, let's get rolling on this countdown. So I know that there are just so many variables in any one person's life that may or may not make this list or considered items relevant to you. But I'll try to cover a lot of bases, co cover a lot of topics that will assist in this move for you. Because you've been stuck in the city, you've been stuck in a town that you need to get out of. You know, whether it's the local government, whether it's the crime in your area, whether it's the pollution, what could it be? There could be so many things that's wanting you to get up and get out. And if I can assist in any way, let's start. So one thing you're going to have to do is find a job that allows you to work from home. If that's not the case, then wherever you are moving, that you'll have to transfer your job to this new location. If you're a mechanic, you're going to have to find a local job somewhere in your new area that allows you to make income and make it work. In our current economy, it seems that it might actually be easy to find a job that allows you to work from home. There are so many companies and businesses that are shutting the doors on their typical environment where all the employees come to one location and work, and they're doing Zoom meetings and FaceTime and whatever they need to do to keep working together and work remotely. Okay, so that may assist in trying to find that new job that helps you move forward in this direction but you will need to be able to work from home in order to have that freedom to choose a wide range of places to move to. But the whole thing is, if you want the options, if you want to be able to explore certain places and find just the best, absolute best place that you just fall in love with, working from home is going to allow you that freedom. Another thing to consider when moving out to the country or a rural area is that you may need to downsize your life. You're gonna have to have, there's gonna be changes. You're gonna be moving to a place where you're not gonna need those golf shirts and uh, your nice khaki pants all the time. Yeah, sure, keep a few because you're gonna go out and meet some clients or meet some people, go out for a nice dinner, that makes perfect sense. But you know what, on a day to day, if you're working from home, you live out in the country, you need rugged clothes, you need work clothes, you're gonna have stuff like that. So get rid of all the, the nonsense that you don't need. Simplify your life. Put the stuff in storage if you have to, but you just won't need it. I guarantee you. Your hobbies. Your hobbies are going to change. Uh, where you once uh, used to go to the bowling alley or you used to go to the bar down the street, those things all change. Because when you live far enough away from these places, they really start to mean nothing in your life. So I recommend living about a half hour from your supplies. If you're going to get groceries, need something from the hardware store, lumber, whatever you're doing out there in the country, you're gonna to have to pick up things. You're gonna to have to get the provisions. So I recommend about a half hour's distance. Anything further than that becomes a little cumbersome. Uh, travel times just start increasing exponentially. So it's just best about a half hour is a, what I think is a good amount of time to drive to go get what you need. 
So where are you gonna move? Where in the world? Well, location is everything. One thing I would recommend is to be at least one hour from any major city. By removing yourself at least this much, you will be less affected by the things that go down in these places. This can be a major benefit to assist in what you're escaping from, I guarantee. So at least one hour from any major city. Where? How about somewhere in the western US? There's a lot of free open space, uh, a lot of places to explore, whereas the east coast is very tightly knit, land is all purchased, not a lot of free space. I've found in my travels that there's kind of an imaginary line somewhere about midway across the US and uh, you go east of that line and you're gonna end up staying in more motels, state parks, paid campgrounds, whereas if you are on the left side of that line, the west side, you're likely going to have a lot more public space, free camping, open areas where you can just explore, get out, see the world. So having the right vehicle is obviously going to tie into all this because uh, the old Honda Civic or the uh, BMW that you had in the city, it's not going to do you so well on uh, bumpy country roads. Time to get rid of that thing. Get yourself a pickup truck, get yourself an SUV, something with four wheel drive. So as we close out part one of this two-part series, the Skydio 2 did an amazing job following us. Got a good landing, good day, a safe flight. Loving it. Hey, let me know what you think in the comments below. There's more to come. Please subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.